Woody Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Twisted Wonderland episode of Savannah Claw chapter one. So before I get into this, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, Feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal links are in the description box below. So, oh my god, I'm so excited for this. I am prepared to be on the wild side. I mean, I got a kitty in my lap. We are prepared to get into this next arc, this next part. Because remember, the first part was um, with uh, uh, the Queen of Hearts. And now we are with the Savannah Claw, with the Scar Dorm. Great key. Let's get to this chapter and see how we're going to start off part two. Ooh, and this is bi-monthly? Yes, we're going from my, we're going from, we're going from monthly to bi-monthly? Yes. The exciting start of a new bi-monthly series, and this art looks fabulous. Ow! Who the hell dares to step on Leona Sama's tail? Are you prepared to be reduced to nothing more than dust? The curtain rises on the second episode of the super popular mobile game's main story adaptation. Ugh. This art looks fucking gorgeous. Oh my god, it looks so gorgeous. Mm. And this chapter is titled Assembled Prefect. Ooh, the Scar Dorm looks gorgeous. Savannah Kala looks gorgeous. I love how it looks like the Outlands. Yes, it does. And you got the elephant tusks. Yes, I love, I love them. And there's Liana. How's the plan coming along, Rugi? Everything's going just as uh, planned, of course, Liana-sama. She, she, she. That outfit is freaking cute. You better be prepared for this, Malleus. Ooh. Aw, oh, kitty tweens. Oh, I like that there's, there's a mirror. The, the mirror, the kitty mirror. The freaking dream mirrors, man. It make, it's very much giving Sailor Moon, doesn't it? I can hear the wind. Is This is the Savannah? Mm hmm A dream? Grim sum is true. My finally gave that little tired of pieces. Ah, running late, Grim. Wake up. This is a uh, a uh, ramshackle. Um, uh, where's Riddle? Um, what are you talking about? You, uh, morning, Grim. Uh, here is Saka uh, Yuka, seventeen years old. There. Uh, I guess I've grown used to this uniform uh, the headmaster gave me at this point. I switched from attending public uh, attending a public high school in Tochiki Prefecture to this place, uh, Night Raven College. Damn, you look so different. Though as far as schools go, it it's kind of special, dude. That uh, you are you wearing eyeliner now? Like what is going on? Somehow an ordinary school like um an army uh, how. Uh, somehow an ordinary schoolgirl like me landed here, um, landed herself here for no apparent reason. <laughs> a month or, or so ago, yep. One full point in time for a current match, Hirosaka of the Red Team. Um, yep, way to go, Hirosaka Senpai. Um, yo, Shoulder Throw King, another unstoppable year. Sorry, go ahead without me. Uh, sure, see you tomorrow. Where's your mom, little guy? Hey, that's way too dangerous. Uh, eee, what sort of cry was... Uh-oh. That's where my memory went blank. When I awoke, um... I found myself that... Uh, that stray cat? No, you're different. No longer in the Japan I lived. Eh? But in another world they call Twisted Wonderland. Yet this prestigious, um, uh, mage training academy, um, right night. Wait. Um, Night Raven College is home to seven dormitories, uh, modeled after the Great Seven, based on the Queen of Hearts, um, uh, uh Spirit of, uh, Severity, Hearts Labule Dorm, based on the King of Beasts, um, 
Spirit of Persistence, uh, Savannah of uh, Savannah Cloud Dorm, based on the so next the next one's going to be obviously Ursula, based on the Sea Witch's Spirit of Compassion, um, uh, Octavianal Dorm, based on the Sorcerer of, of, of the Sand Spirit of um, De Deliberation, uh, Scarabia Dorm. So we're going to have so it's going to be Ursula, then Jafar after. And then um, the Evil Queen, based on the uh, Fairest Queen's um, Spirit of Tenacity, um, Pumfiore Dorm. I can't wait. So we're going to get the best two last. Oh, my God. Based on the Lord of the Underworld, Spirit of Diligence, um, Inihide Dorm. Yes, Hades is going to be fucking epic. And based on the Fairy Thorn, um, based on the Thorn Fairy Spirit of Nobility, um, the Asania Dorm. Dude, I can't wait can't wait and then there's the dorm where i live as someone who isn't qualified to be a mage the so-called ramshackle dorm for me who's got no idea how to return uh to my world and has nowhere to go the headmaster provided this old building that used to be a dormitory in exchange for the special exception i merely asked um i and wait in exchange for the special exception i merely ask you to clean um and do a few jobs around campus with grim come and tell mind you a lot has happened and now this cat is my partner turn your text uh to page 80 What's the big idea, Ace? Doze off again and train Sensei's uh, cow come flying your way. Hug it off, guys. Can't say I blame you when uh, class is this boring. Yay, there's Ace! Um, Ace Trapola, who's bored. Yeah. Man, I'm hungry. These two are my friends from Hearts La Um, And there's Deuce Spade. He can hear you. Who shortly after we enrolled helped me resolve a certain incident. Mm-hmm. You, um, wake me up when class is over. Cut that! you there's the kitties more the kitties what's on the menu for today uh, it's a special day um uh once in a month occurrence good uh, goodies from the wildly popular bakery in that town at the base of the mountain are being served give me three chocolate croissants um nice i actually uh snagged snagged one this month um these egg sandwiches are are made awesome uh, sorry these egg sandwiches are made are bad awesome First come, first serve. Um, egg sandwiches are now sold out. The deluxe minced meat cutlet sandwich. Uh, there ain't there ain't but one left. Uh, dude, everything looks so tasty. Wonder what I should get. They really do seem popular. Grim, what are you going to? Huh? Out of the way, you bunch of punks! The starry beast has been unleashed. Ugh, yeah, the starry beast has been unleashed. It's got so, such a one-track mind when it comes to food. How's that for a taste of my power? Less Lux, uh, minced meat cutlet, uh, <laughs> minced meat cutlet sandwich is all mine. No okay, no cutting in line. Let's take this outside. No, no, you've got guts to cut in front of your upperclassmen. Stop that damn boy. Sit. You gotta wait your turn. Hey, get off of me. We're really sorry about this, guys. Hey, Pops, I'll take a roast beef. Hey, Pops, I'll take a roast beef with lettuce toasted. What? This isn't an excuse for you to cut, too. Oh man. Looks like they sold out of the, of the uh, deluxe minced meat cutlet sandwich. Uh, Leona, oh my god. Oh man, it looks like they sold out of the deluxe minced meat cutlet sandwich Leona saw, uh, saw told me to get. Uh, I'm gonna savor the sweet taste of victory. Hey there, pal. How awesome is it that you got your paws on that deluxe sandwich everybody's got a hankering for? Huh? Where the heck are you supposed to be? I'm just a guy that's real desperate to get my hands on that sandwich, but it sold out before I got here. Speaking of which... How about you trade your prize uh, for my mini red bean bu red bean bun here? What? No way, Jose! No way, Jose! Oh, come on, don't be like that. Here you go. I said I ain't gonna... Yeah! My paws are moving on their own. There, we have a deal! She, she, what an asshole! Glad I found such a kind soul to trade with. I swear that mini red be bean bun tastes that tastes um just as good. Bye bye. My mint, my deluxe mince meat cutlet sandwich. No. Still, it's rare to see a glutton like you so willing to trade for well that pigs might start flying tomorrow. That ain't what happened. It was like my paw just started um mimicking his as soon as he put his hand uh put out his hand. It was over before I knew it. Oh, so you just went with the went with the um. What, with the go with the flow kind of thing? No, I don't mean like that. I can't explain it right. Whatever, I'm just gonna eat my feelings. <laughs> Get your face out of my pasta! Where have I seen our animal your friend before? Leona-san, I brought you your lunch. Or... 
<laughs> Noon already? Don't tell me you were asleep this whole time. You're gonna uh, flunk your core classes again at this rate. Smells like you got what I asked for, uh, despite you always demanding the most popular item on the menu. Idiot, when some something's hard to get, it makes you want it all the more. Oh god, is that true? Speaking of, oh stomach be quiet, you. Hey, I'll eat anything as long as it's not growing mold. <laughs> Poor baby. Well, not that I expect a prince like you to understand. <laughs> Let's see. Start off like that to uh, the one who's first in line. <laughs> Good luck getting to be king if you're a second son. I might as well be a commoner. Speaking of, I'll never forget the time. Um, Could have sworn that this was a doghouse. I showed um you a picture of my family's house. You, you sure I said that? Sure am. Sheesh, I'd love to try uh, castle living just um, long enough to warp my perspective like that. Huh. The royal life's not all it's cracked up to be. <sighs> no matter how talented you are or how hard you work, your lot in life is already decided by the order in which you were born. Is that so? Oh yeah, there's a dorm leaders meeting after school today. Uh, don't forget to show. What a pain. You get the biggest room as a dorm leader, so at least do that much and earn your keep. All right, already. Time for a nap now that I'm full. Wake me up when lunch break's over. I'm not your alarm clock. Uh, I'm not your alarm clock, Leota-san. Uh, he's already out. Give me a break, though. Come to think of that, uh, come to think, haven't I seen that first year in Tanuki someplace else before? Headmaster's office. See, you've all arrived. I've summoned you all here today for one very specific reason, and this is the headmaster Dyer Crowley, to discuss the incident that happened the other day with Roseheart's Cun. And here's uh, the dorm leader, for those of you that don't remember. Hearts Labule's dorm leader, Riddle uh, Roseheart's, otherwise known as the Crimson Tyrant. Mm -hmm. The students of their dorm feared him due to the harsh uh, punishments. He, um... Due to the harsh punishments he meted out to anyone who defied the rules, as a result, no one dared to um, uh, to stand um, to stand up to him. Ace, on the other hand, challenged Riddle to a duel for uh, the title of dorm leader. His authority over um, over them suddenly came apart at the seams, and then he was pushed to uh, toward overblot and lost control of himself. I uh, I am order itself. That was so epic. Yes. God, that looks so good. Oh, my God. My brother told me a little about it, but um, who knew building too much black could turn you into the, could turn you into that? Okay, but what's all this black stuff about anyway? Ah, uh, yes, it's the push. We should start with the basics for you, kind and grim kind's sake. Then I shall impart all you need to know, for I am just so exceedingly gracious. Now, blood is the sort of waste produced by as a byproduct as one uses magic. For example, automobiles uh, use fuel to run and emit fumes in the process, correct? Uh, sim similarly, spells consume mag magical energy while si simultaneously expelling blood. Like having a tailpipe for magic? Yes, quite so. A blot is, uh, is a concept that's um, been studied since... Uh, uh, time immemorial, yet it remains mostly a mis uh, mystery. Only one thing is certain. It's extremely toxic when accumulated in excess and can do grave damage to a mage's mind and body. Hence why even the greatest of mages do not have an infinite supply of magic. So you're saying if we use magic, we'll just get sicker and sicker? Not necessarily. Perhaps a demonstration would be more efficient than words. Oh, gentlemen, I have a little job for you. You rang, headmaster? Ghosts? What are you doing, ghost? This is very much Hogwarts, isn't it? Now take up your pe um. Now take up your pens and prepare to battle. Seriously? Want to run the? Uh, Want to run the Y by me again? Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah. Hey, headmaster, what's the big deal here? Uh, take a good look at the gem on your collar, Grimcun. Yeah. My magic gem's looking kind of mucky now. I can't rub it off. Um. There's grime in my magic uh, magical pen too. Whoa, those inky black spots on your magic gems are known uh, are what is known as blot, the byproduct of magic. Is it permanent? Not at all. Huh, that's good to hear. So how do you get rid of it? With proper rest and recovery, the blot will vanish from your gems all on its own. Magic gems aren't um, only meant to help you perform spells. It redirects the blot and to a certain extent prevents it from accumulating in the user. A wonderful item to have. Then it's no skin off my back. I sleep and eat plenty. And it's too soon for you to celebrate, um, to be celebrating, I'm afraid. 
While an individual's qua uh, qua oh my god, while an individual's quantity of magic power varies greatly, there's little variance in most mages' uh, tolerance for blot. In other words, those who possess a uh, greater capacity of magic ought to be much more careful about uh, how much blot they amass. Not that mages of your caliber have much to be worried about in this case. You lucky dogs, you. Gee, thanks, I guess. So, like, if Archim's go all dark, we'll wind up like Riddle? That giant monster behind him was freaking scary! That enormous shadow is said to be the avatar of an, um, amalgamation. Wait, um, uh, amal Gamation, there we go. Uh, uh, the avatar of an amalgamation of blood and negative energy. Negative energy? Anger, sadness, fear, panic. The many negative emotions we often carry make it very simple to amass blood, in turn leading to the dreadful condition we uh, term overblot. We were uh, fortunate to uh, bring Rosehart's cun back to his senses so quickly. If he'd remained in that state, it's too terrifying to even contemplate. Wait, let me read this again. We were fortunate to bring Rosehart cuts back to his senses so quickly. If he were re remained in that state, it's too terrifying to even contemplate. <clears throat> Excuse me. Basically, there's a considerable uh, level of risk involved when using uh, strong magic. Take care not to forget. Yes, sir. This concludes the special lesson with your ever so kind headmaster. Now, back to your classrooms, everyone. I'm quite busy getting ready for October's inner dorm uh, magical shift tournament, you see. Ooh. I have. I even have a meeting with the dorm leaders after this. Ooh, okay. Magical shift tournament? What's that? You've li literally never heard of a, of, a, of Magift? It's a world-famous sport. Really? Magical Shift, a.k.a. Magift, it's a uh, sport played by competing teams of seven people. You score points by battle, um, battling over a disc and then firing it into the enemy's team's goal. Uh, team's goal. Then whoever scores the most points wins. Hmm. Then whoever scores the most points wins, huh? So, like, it's like American football? Sounds fun to me. American football? Is that a sport from your hometown? Actually, it might be diff uh, difficult for you to take part in the tournament. Why? I've got confidence in my physical strength. I'm a black belt in judo. Judo. You need magic to play magical shift. Uh, moving the disc, attacking and defending. Um, all of it uses magic. It's also like a test to see how flashy players could get with their magic. Basically, dude, it's ma it's magical football. That's awesome. Nightraven Claw uh, Nightraven College is world renowned as one of the strongest competitors out there. That's why the inner dorm uh, tournament's sure to draw attention. Oh my god, we got some Quidditch shit going on. But it's American football. I love this. This sounds so fun. Not only from uh, the pro league officials, but mages all over the world. Yep, standout players get super popular as a result for sure. It's one of our biggest events. A roller coaster ride of, of a tournament that gets um, captured on television, cameras, and broadcasted worldwide. Cameras? Television? So you're saying I play in this tournament, the whole world will be watching me? All right, time to get training and then, um, hello, like I said. Remember the inner dorm part? You need seven members on a team. And Ramshackle Dorm has, well, one player, two players. Yeah, no way you can enter the tournament. Um, no way. This ain't fair. I'm going to be on TV and, he, and uh, hear, yeah, Grim got so cool. And see that awesome play he made? And all kinds of stuff like that. There, there. These delusions are oddly specific. <laughs> You'll have to give up on, on it this year, I guess, but maybe Ramshackle will have enough students next year to form a team. Thanks for getting my hopes up for nothing. Now let us commence with a meeting of dorm leaders to, in regards to the October Inner Dorm Magical Shift Tournament. Greetings, everyone. I, Azul Ashen Grotto, am um, serving as head of the planning committee. To start things off, I'd like to discuss the stall setup around the venue. I'm happy to announce that all allocated slots for external firms and internal organizations have been filled. Moreover, like in past years, several television stations and newspapers have submitted applications to attend the event. Oh, nice! This is going to be one lively tournament! Yep. Yeah. All invites to our distinguished guests of honors and um, honor in various stations have already been delivered, and public ticket sales have been going smoothly. Man, I look forward to my invitation every year before entering school here. You must have gotten them too, huh, Leona? Since you're royalty, maybe we bumped into each other when we were kids. Search me! Who cares? I'll have to work extra hard this year to keep my foundation from melting. <laughs> Only Pomfiore would go as far as to call a timeout to touch up their makeup. <laughs> what? Um, why are you all so stoked to be on TV? The thought makes me want to puke. Less noise, please. As soon as the roster for your dorm has been finalized, kindly submit your registration uh, paperwork. Any dorm that misses the deadline uh, by even one day will be disqualified, uh, I trust. 
Oh, oh no, they'll simply be charged an additional processing fee. Um, consider it an expedited delivery cost. What? Personally, I've had a terrible manage to modify the rules so that others are excused. I'm, I'm glad for it, though. <laughs> now, now, gentlemen, we're getting off topic. Regarding the uh, bracket for the forthcoming competition, I'd like to offer a proposal. Proposal? Yes, starting with this tournament, I'd like to have uh, Diasamia's dorm leader, uh, Malleus Draconia, inducted into the Hall of Fame, removing him from the field altogether. Dude, I love this design! Draconia is fine. Look at this man. Draconia, this man gives you Maleficent to a T. You want to give me a, uh, um, a child of Maleficent? That is he. Look at this man. Look at that freaking, look at that freaking staff. That staff is everything. This man is everything. He, the freaking fashion is good. Look at this fashion. See, that's what I like about this manga. A lot, a lot of what I like about this manga is the goddamn fashion. It is couture. It gives you everything that it needs to give. I wish, I have to point this out because it frustrates me. Because I see, I've been seeing a lot of people like bitch about this with like the Disney dolls. Um, especially in terms, of, and I'm going to point this out in terms of the villains. Like if Disney, I know I've been getting obsessed a lot lately with like, uh, um, with uh, different um, weird ass uh, types of YouTube videos. Because <laughs> uh, at some point when I'm financially stable, I want to get in, back into like, Obviously, besides my plushie collection, I want to get into, like, figurines and stuff like that. And maybe even, um, I don't know if it'll be, like, Disney Store, like, American Disney Store dolls. I think it's going to be more like the Japanese ones, because the Japanese Disney stuff is really goddamn cool if I get into any type of Disney stuff. But, like, if you gave me, like, this here, if you gave me, like, a doll or, like, an action, uh, yeah, probably a doll of, like... Malia Dracon Draconia, for example, if you give me a doll of this man, I would be sold. Because that's the thing that a lot of um, American um, dolls and figurines have been lacking. And I've been seeing this a lot in the communities, why, why um, a lot of uh, uh, adult collectors have been really pissy is because of these fashions lacking. Why? Why can we not get these fashions on freaking dolls and in some cases, figurines or in characters in general. I don't know what is going on with Disney in regards to that. It's just the weirdest thing, especially in regards to male fashions in particular. Imagine this on a male doll. Oh my God, that would be sick. Oh my God, imagine this on a male freaking doll. Oh God, that would be sick. Especially the ones that come out of Disney, uh, the Disney stores. Oh God, that would be sick. Mattel's dolls have been very much lacking, so that's why I'm like, unless you get, unless we're talking about the really high end, like really really good high end quality um, Mattel dolls. But if, if this was like an MGA or um, or like really good Disney doll, then yeah. But like if this was a Japanese doll, oh damn straight, I'd get that quality right away. But like, damn. God damn, I'd love this in a doll form. Oh my god, this would be amazing. I'd put that on my wall all day. Yes. Yes, yes. God. Say what? Um, what do you mean by that? Every dorm that has played against uh, the Osamnia since uh, Draconia Ken's admission has been crushed without scoring a single point. They were too... Re they were too... Oh my god, they were too late score. Uh, routinely score. Oh, I say routinely. What the fuck is wrong with me? They routinely score well over 100 points, uh, with Draconia kind of alone giving, um, netting 90% of the goals. He's like a Chico character that broke totally, that totally broke the game. Oh my god, this tournament is not simply for fun. Spectators all over the world will be watching to see what new talented mages will emerge. In spite of this, matches against, uh, Diasamia have ended without allowing anyone else, not even his own doormates, to display even a trace of magic. With many students that aspire uh, to play in the Magical Shift Pro League, um, Savannah Claw Dorm, um, they've been uh, a top competitor since the school was founded. And yet, for the last two years, their opening game has always been against uh, Diasamia Dorm, resulting in immediate elimination. It's hardly go going to endear you to any pro. Uh, wait, it's hardly going to endear you to any pro league recruiters as it stands. So what you're saying is. We're just going to get our ass, asses beat again this year? I'm not implying it because I wish to. Oh! 
Anyhow, Draconian Ken has given his informal consent on this on the matter. All we now, all we need now, is the approval of the. Huh, you're selling us short. Listen here, Teach. There's nothing I hate more than being told you'll never be the best before the game even starts. No one can best that jerk when it comes to power, but Magift isn't um, just a game about brute strength. It's about using your brains up in your head, am I right? I don't think I could use my wits to beat Malleus either. <laughs> For you, sure. But I'm different. The king of the beasts, uh, king of beasts of the great seven, uh, took, oh my god, let me, the fuck is it? The king of the beasts of the great seven took his place as king through persistence and wit. Wreck your brains and come up with a way to beat that monster. Woo, damn. Tryouts for the Magift uh, tournament are soon, right? Come up with an eye-catching, uh, come up with eye, oh my god, come up with any eye-catching spells to show up? Uh, you bet. I gave, um, uh, Crowell Sensei a demonstration the other day, and he was pretty impressed. I can't wait to show it, uh, to our dorm lead. What? Hey, are you okay? It hurts. Um, let's get you to the nurse. <laughs> Shishi. Woo! Turbo creeps so ever closer. Yes, we're gonna get a plot! We're getting the overplot! This is gonna be good. I'm stoked. It's gonna happen at this tournament, too. I am stoked. This is the rise of the fucking beast. I'm ready for this. This is going to be freaking epic as hell. I am ready. I'm very curious what you guys think. I'm ready for this arc. This, this is going to be really goddamn good. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. Um, I love these designs. These designs have always been good. Um, and uh, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. What you guys... Uh, and, I really want to know what you guys think. This could be interesting. Hmm. Are you prepared? Are you prepared to plot? Are you prepared? We'll see. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. If you love what we're, uh, we're doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Twisted Wonderland content, there ways you can do that. Donate to our cash at PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitter, Twitch, Discord. Find us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.